This is your boy Deontay Nails here. In today's video will be another YouTube news video. If you haven't already, check out the description. I'm doing the Xbox One and PS4 giveaway. I'm also giving away some gift cards and I'm also doing an iPhone 7 giveaway. So if you want any of these giveaways, all you got to do is like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out those giveaway video links in the description. Share videos, stay active on the channel, watch videos, like, comment, and follow me on Twitter. And um, that'll um, increase your chances of winning. But into the video of today, um, first topic comes from KSI. KSI is one of the biggest YouTubers of all time. He has 15 million subscribers on one channel, I think, and 10 million on another one. Um, well, he actually um, blacked out his Twitter a couple of months ago and deleted a bunch of videos off his YouTube channel a couple of months ago and really took a break from YouTube. And um, he uploaded a video a couple of days ago, um, and it had like a song. Like It, it, it was really a bland video. And he just was he just had like a song playing and it just wasn't anything on the screen. And he actually like deleted it as soon as he posted it, a couple minutes after he posted it. Well today he dropped a, a new single on um on iTunes. It's ninety nine cents. From what I hear it's really good. So a bunch of people are speculating that he could be dropping an album and what a bunch of people are saying is that he took a break from YouTube to work on an album and that he should be coming back to YouTube um, after this album drops and th that was taking most of his time so he really hasn't been able to really upload and do work on videos because he's been working on that album so much so that's interesting but into the second topic of today's video we have Superwoman and FuzzyTube um, if y'all don't know who Superwoman is, she's one of the biggest female, um, biggest female, um, YouTubers there is. T almost 12 million subscribers on YouTube. FuzzyTube is a really, really big YouTuber himself. Millions and millions of subscribers on, on multiple different YouTube channels. And FuzzyTube is actually doing this journey where he's just traveling, um, around the world and helping people. And he really doesn't have any money. And yeah, besides the well, he has money, but he's using all his money to help people. He's not spending money on his on himself. He's not really like showering, eating every day. Like he's really going out. Like he's he's acting like he's homeless, but he's helping people. And a lot of people have been like calling Fuzzy Tube out because they they're saying like, okay, you're on this journey for YouTube. Like or you're on this journey to help people and you're uploading it to YouTube. Why does it matter how many views you get? Why are you clickbaiting? Because he's clickbaiting um, on the title and on the thumbnails to get more views on the series. And basically in that interview with, with Superwoman and FuzzyTube, Superwoman was just basically really just calling him out on his BS, asking him why does he feel like he needs to clickbait the journey is if the journey is about helping people then why does it matter if if one person watches or a million person watches is the video like why does it matter um and she just really i think it was a really good interview she did a really good job of just like putting them on the spot i'm not going to ruin it for y'all or anything but she really did do a good job so if y'all haven't already go check out the uh, podcast uh, it was like a live stream actually and I mean, I really respect FuzzyTube for the journey that he's doing because I mean, a lot of YouTubers wouldn't do it because I mean, it is stepping out of his comfort zone, comfort zone. Even if he is clickbaiting, it is stepping out of his comfort zone. He's helping people. So, I mean, I still applaud him for that. But um, into the next topic of today's video comes from Logan Paul. Logan Paul um, has been having beef with PewDiePie because PewDiePie has been roasting his brother, Jake Paul, because of... I mean, rightfully so, because Jake Paul roasted PewDiePie in his music video that he did a couple weeks ago. And PewDiePie roasted Jake Paul t on two occasions. And um, Logan Paul has been posting on YouTube, kind of roasting um, PewDiePie, saying, like, roast me. He's just been kind of poking him and egging him on to roast him. Um, it's just, it's really weird. Uh, I mean, I understand because Logan Paul wants to take up for his brother, and he's upset that PewDiePie has roasted his brother twice. And um, Logan Paul actually uploaded this video today, and it said PewDiePie roasted me. And in the video, PewDiePie really didn't roast him, so he really did clickbait, kind of. I mean, PewDiePie was like, he he, he did a simple roast. I mean, it really, it really wasn't even a roast. He, PewDiePie was just basically like, I'm not, I don't see a point in roasting Jake or Logan Paul. I don't see a point in roasting Logan Paul because he roasts himself every video or every day that he uploads. So I don't I don't see how he roasted him. So I mean I don't think that 
PewDiePie is even going to pay Logan Paul any attention, which I mean, he's the biggest YouTuber on YouTube, so he doesn't have to. Into the last topic, Casey Neistat's and CNN. Basically, um, Casey Neistat is a really, really, really big YouTuber, uh, vlogger, and he's recently sold um, his um, Beam app to CNN for a lot, a lot of money, like $25 million. And basically now CNN is going to have Casey Neistat star in a daily news uh, show. And Casey Neistat will be the host from what I understand. And uh, he'll just be giving daily news and he'll be doing different things with the news um, on CNN. So that'll be really interesting. We'll be seeing Casey Neistat on CNN daily. Like that'll be really interesting. But, um, I mean, that just shows you that you work hard. I mean, YouTube opens up doors. If you get big, just keep grinding. And, I mean, he's successful now. And uh, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, Also, if you don't know, Clayster's girlfriend cheated on him. Sky does Minecraft girl cheated on him. And it's been a really big, um, a lot of cheating going on in the YouTube community. So, if if you'd like to check out those videos... They are on my channel. I do explain those in further detail, but that's going to do it for the video today. Thank y'all for watching. Check out my two Twitters on the screen. Thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Peace out.